Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Tamarack Trail, a dice-building roguelike, a.k.a. my jam, that I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here today as part of the Steam Next Fest. Let's pop on in and see what the game is all about. To the trail we go. Welcome to the trail. Thank you. You are here. Select an icon to move forward. Scroll to the right to plan your path. My oh my. All right. Hey, you, adventurer. You find something interesting there, right? Uh, yeah. The <laughs> monolith stands alone on top of a small hill. An ominous humming sound comes from its direction. The air is electrified and you feel threatened. Stay a while and listen. Search the area. Destroy the monolith. Touch the monolith. I shall touch the monolith. You are granted an ominous vision. Your blip increases by one permanently. When, as soon as I know what blip is, I am going to be very, very excited by that. Increase the damage of attacks by one. All die bounces are counted twice. Removes one random debuff stack on flip. I don't know what any of that means yet. This is the most straightforward, but this sounds fun. Die bounces? I mean, sure. So what are we looking for? It looks like there's a couple... Oh, there's an elite here. There's a hell of a lot of fights into the elite, which... Truthfully, from what I know from roguelikes, typically you do want to just fight as many as possible. Watch out. Creatures on the trail may not be friendly. You'll need to defeat monsters in your way to continue. Grab a dice. Throw it on the rolling pad. Huh. Use your abilities by dragging them from the die to a target. Every ability costs Resolve. Resolve is a regenerative resource that you spend to use abilities. Resolve's regeneration per turn is shown right here. The cost of an ability is in the description panel. Hearts are your health, so try not to lose them. Without Resolve, enemy attacks will wound your hearts. Single attacks cause one wound, no matter the amount of damage. Watch out for multiple attacks that can cause more wounds. But be warned because your enemies also have resolve and hearts. The resolve will also regenerate, so plan accordingly. The intent is above their head. Intends to do three damage. Now quickly, let's discuss your dice. As mentioned before, each dice ability costs resolve. However, not using a dice during your turn will add two additional resolve next turn. This is your auto roll button, and this releases your hero's unique power. That covers the basics, and I'm sure you'll figure out the rest. Okay. So this is a defend. Gain six shield. Sure. Some attacks grant you shield, which will protect your resolve. Shield resets every turn. Enemy attacks decrease your shield before your resolve. So our resolve is both our... <laughs> Some of your abilities are affected by bounces between dice. A bounce happens whenever a dice collide. Whenever a dice collide together. Each bounce increases the cost of an ability by one, and each pair of dice can only bounce once. Some abilities increase in power with more bounces. Okay. Okay, so strange. So I can't make that bounce. I would have had to not cast it, I guess. I mean, all right. We shall see. We shall see. Here, one moment. I'm trying to get the audio. The menu was so loud. This was not... So we have, oh, deal five damage, deal, gain six shield, apply three bleed per bounce. This is gain a dodge and then flip to the other side and exhaust. So I guess we want to roll this first in case we oh, get the bouncy boy. So this only costs us one resolve, so it's not that bad. Okay. Oh, I hate when enemies can spawn and attack on the same turn. That's always a that's always a no to me. If I have a choice, usually I'm like, eh, I don't think that that's very good. Can we... Ooh, can you kind of choose what you roll? Sort of? Get out of here. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So we do have our free re-roll. Let's see if I can, like... Yeah, you sort of can. So if I do this and it bounces here, that counts as two bounces? 
I was under the impression it was supposed to count as two bounces, but hey. There's probably an element I don't understand yet, Ben. Or my trinket is busted. One of the two. Okay, so this is going to end up doing a damage. And then you regenerate the three. Bonk. That is... So, we're... I kind of like that system of you get hit a lot of times, but you're not actually taking damage. Oh, boy. Rare. Apply two blind to all monsters and then flip the die to the top. Four damage and flip the die to the left. Three safe house. That sounds good. You have a new ability. Equip it to your die in the dice customization screen. Open the dice crafting table to customize your dice. Welcome to the Dice Forge. Customize your dice abilities and dice cores here. Grab a dice and place the middle place it in the middle to customize. Unwrap your dice. Now you can select your dice abilities. I've done it. Dice can also hold single dice core. Oh, this needed to be put in? So now this counts as double bounces? I want to check something. What? Okay, so that's the top. Drag and drop cores here. Catch up, Grandpa. And then I think we'll... We'll turn this into a more... Does this go away forever? Flip to the other side. I don't know what dodge is. I'm, I can only assume it's the same as dodge in most games. And then exhaust. We'll, we'll see. Being like one dodge equal block one entire hit? Question mark? That's what I would assume. All right, let's call the shot. Put that back. Oh, as soon as you grab it, it won't let you not. Okay. So we don't really want to bump them. Just normally here, I don't think. What's your deal, dude? You you suck. Reduce resolve regeneration. I mean, this guy's nothing, though. Yeah, if you look, it's kind of crazy that you could just... It is a dice game, but you can sort of call your shot. Deal 5 damage per dice bounce. Apply 2 exposed if under stealth. Apply 4 drowsy per die bounce. So drowsy was... Um, that was the... Um, less resolved regen. Five per die bounce. So I could this could do ten damage. I mean it seems nice. So we gotta put that on something. Does it need to be on Does it need to be on this one? For science, this is for science. for science so we can see if that one counts as a double bounce or not. And if it doesn't, heal and gain five. I guess that's resolve. Oh. Uh, hello? So I guess I just... Okay, so 31. I just get it. I just get it automatically. Gotcha. This one first. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. But then... We kind of, if we're rolling this one first, we want it on that one anyways. So this does nothing. It seems to imply it's going to be doing five damage anyways. Let's find out for science. No, it lied. Okay. Okay. It doesn't update in real time. Good to know. Does not update in real time. Gain a dodge. Here we are, and then we want to wait. So this should do 10. Or it would. But then we're applying the bleed. I guess this is a fine order. Bleed being just a standard. Yeah, one damage per stack at the start of turn. 
And then you do one poison damage each turn. Oh, man. So the thing is, you are theoretically dead anyways. So it doesn't really matter. We were going a little overkill for you. Two blind all monsters and flip the, the die to the top. Gain five shield per bounce. Wait, plus resolve? This is a rare, but... What is blind? Is blind going to be... Surely it's not miss the next two hits. That's overpowered. Is it like... I, I wish it... God, I wish it told me what the status effects do. That's always a, a faux pas as well. But the things that I have problems with so far are mostly... Um, uh, like minor quality of life gripes. Seems good. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Take this. Actually. Works for me. Yeah, expose. I'm going to assume expose is going to be like a. They take more damage from stuff. Hello there, strange man. Oh. That one didn't go in the way that I expected. He's only doing three. Clearly, there's got to be some catch to you. We could do our reroll, but I just didn't feel it was necessary there. Well, okay. Trying to see if I could get something slightly better. Doing a lot of damage. Wait, double the damage from your next attack. Consume one swift. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Alright, so we dodge. What just happens? It, it, we dodge and then it forced me to play calm the the calm down that it flipped to, which was obviously going to be zero. Oh, that actually also makes this a terrible thing to flip to. Hmm. Oh well. Okay, so he's got five resolve now. We're going to need to do more than five damage in a turn. Yeah, it's just not working anymore that way. Let's let him bump just in case we get the good stuff. I'd consider that some good stuff for now. Gain one shield, additional shield per stack of confusion. Seven, flip the die randomly if the enemy attacked has any debuffs. We should be able to We should be able to make that work. We should be able to apply a lot of debuffs. Seven, flip the die randomly if. So maybe we do that? Because this one's more likely to be the one that gives them debuffs. I'm also not sure if I want this. Do we have... Is there a shield on this one still? I've also never rolled this peacock. I don't know if there's like a certain slot that is... That is just going to be better for it or something. Because I'm, I'm sure it's just... It's just luck. I just didn't get it. Okay. That happens automatically. And then we're going for what looks like an elite. Perhaps. Well, hello. Two times five. Okay. That, and then it flips to the top. What is blind? Damage done is reduced by 25%. Gotcha. And then we get to apply six bleed because it bounced. And then we get to do this.
and it flipped randomly, but it flipped randomly back to itself? Is there, I was going to say, is there a point to shield? There's definitely a point to shield. Okay, we've almost killed this elite on, like, turn one. We wombo comboed him. Alright. Not so much here. I guess I'll tell you what. Change of plan. We can do better. Yeah, it's not always consistent. Okay, so this does nothing. So we technically want to not play it. Because we gain extra resolve. If, it, if you have a useless face, you don't want to do anything with it. <laughs> and then we let this bump. And then we... Yeah, we... Unless I... Okay, so if I dodge, I get to do the backflip, which lets... What? See, right there, when it flips to that face, it kind of, like, forced me to do it. Ten bleed. More shield. I'm sorry, guy. I'm sorry. N new die? Like, straight up an actual whole new die? A new die that has nothing on it. That's kind of... That's still cracked, though, because... Wait, even if we roll a, uh, if we roll an empty face... We basically gain two resolve. It's also a no... It's also an extra bumping tool. That's the real thing for our build. What is this? Uh... I wish I knew. Heck. Interesting. So yeah, we, we have to use the flip die immediately. I'm hoping that this is okay. I don't know what those hearts mean, but I just want you gone. Two poison. Ow. This one first. Ooh, didn't really want to bump those. Oh, didn't really want to bump those. Yeah, that makes that cost five. Okay, so we really have to put our stuff super far away from each other. The good news is, actually, I don't think anything matters, though. We, I think we just, we killed the scarier part of the fight so quickly that it didn't matter. You have to dodge. I wish we could put down a die as soon as we grabbed it, because otherwise I'm kind of just like, well, do I bump it now? Glad I didn't. Alright, go for the four. We're more than fine. Alright, come on now. I was gonna say that should that should do it. That again? It that seems crazy. Gain five shield per stealth, stealth stack. Two shield, two resolve, and flip the die to the bottom. This one's rare, though. I don't know. It just feels like... I'll tell you what. I think it's worth it. Because we can do... Um, I think what we should do... I don't know. It's kind of a that's kind of a weird. But peacock into that is actually really good. And I don't know if I want the dodge. I guess I could um I guess I could do that for now. Cuz if you do the peacock into this attack, it's really good. Yeah, we gotta we gotta see on calm down. K 
can we go here? <laughs> that, that path. <laughs> what the hell is this? Increased resolve regeneration by one per wound. Oh, great. I put that in the wrong spot. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and do a new one there. I mean, I guess I can do a little bit more blind, I suppose. Oh, my God. Add three damage to all attack. What is the... What is this guy? Are you attacking me or not? It looks like you're looking, you're going for some kind of a buff. But if I'm getting seven anyways, I guess I don't know. I'm going to do this if I'm overflowing regardless. He gave himself shield. He's doing seven damage. What is up with you, mister? You're a crazy man. All right. Duh. And then we can... I guess we'll do the extra damage there. Definitely going to go for the shield. We need to do more than five per... So is that... That did how much? I did dodge it. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is bumpable. Good. Uh, we want both of these bumped. So this does a lot of damage. Just a, yeah, just an exceptional amount. That just does one heart, and then this costs nothing. Yeah, we just give ourselves a silly amount of block, which is great because this guy is kind of busted. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah, you can't control it as much as... He has eight resolve regen per turn? Wh How am I supposed to deal with that? And he's going to be getting more? Am I supposed to be fighting this guy? Oh, well, I guess I have to do this now. All right, we want to roll this in a way where it's going to bounce and hopefully hit the other one too. It did not. Uh, that's understandable. Okay, 12 bleed. That's really, that. that is going to be the thing that can help us. That actually did indeed restore my resolve. Oh my God, the 12 bleed. Thank God I'm also busted. All right. And then we'll go for this. I do miss the music. We've got 23, so we just need to kind of hang out for a while. So that's one. 23 bleed. That's another damage. Wow. I mean... <laughs> okay. I don't know what to say. I'm busted. Wait, did that... Uh... I, yeah, I was going to say, I could have sworn I did already do that one. We're taking seven. This is a bit silly. 34 bleed. Sorry, guy. Probably should just press end turn. I'm baffled. Gain four stealth. Ooh. Seven flip the die randomly if the enemy attack has any debuffs. This could give us the stealth, give us the expose, but... Honestly, I think that another one of these sounds great. Hmm. The fact that it could flip to... Okay. Hold on. We'll take a look here. That flips to that one. Okay. Just a guaranteed block every turn. 
with a chance to flip to that. Not a guaranteed block. I think that that's fine. Our wombo combo die will be the other one. Let me add a boss. Let me add a boss. If I could... <sighs> okay, this is... This is wacky. So this is theoretically going to be doing 10 already. It should have bumped twice. Yeah. I'm going to do it for science already. Okay, good. That counts. There's almost no reason to bump. Oh, I had no choice. I have to cast that. Okay. You have a status effect, so we could go for that. And then we flip to another. Is it worth it? Probably. Oh, reduce resolve regen by quite a bit. Uh-oh. That actually is a concern. Because this is going to get expensive. This is already six bleed. Which unfortunately isn't actually enough to get the kill. Oh boy, oh boy. Wait, that didn't have the the face. Oh man. We're getting we're getting demoed. I gotta be honest, I think that not casting that is gonna be better for me since I don't have a whole lot of resolve. I think I am gonna be taking some, like, forced damage here, basically. Not forced, but, like... The damage is not gonna be good here. Spread everything out. Are you not doing an attack? I think you're gonna be giving yourself dodge. Which, if I do this, I might actually be okay. This is painful. We uh, we need a five. We should get a five damage. All right, good. That could have been bad. Yeah, that was way worse for us than the other. I mean, I'll be I'll be real. A five bounce seems like the way to go. I think that's fine. It seems like... Are we getting the double... Ooh, boy. The double value. Regardless here. <laughs> yes. Okay, this is crazy. This is very expensive, too, might I add. There's 10, so it does indeed give us the double. 12. We're doing 10 damage? Okay, I'm going for this, then. Wait, what? What is your deal, man? Gain two defense whenever your defense is broken. Okay, well, I'm glad you have the 11... Um, block there. Okay, do I want to even do this? You're gaining seven block. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's what that one was. That one flips to the sheep. I mean, apparently I'm not taking damage this turn, so let's just get the resolve. That guy's dead by bleed. But he's also probably doing 10 damage here. No, he's not. He's doing another shield. I don't know the order of operations on those. I was going to say, I'm, I'm assuming. Okay, we don't want to bump. You know? And then we flip that. 
infinite combo. I did it. I made an infinite. I mean, so the game has a way to recognize that an infinite combo happened. And yet. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, so if we hit save and quit, maybe I can possibly come back. One sec. All right, let's give it another go. Different enemies. Let's hope for the other one. Oh, well. You know, I am not happy with that because we can't get a status effect off of it, so. Yeah. Same exact thing. Oh, even worse, actually. It's literally just the same but worse because we... Oh, well. Uh, let's get... If I can kill an actual guy, get one actual whole body out of the way, that sounds great. Ten shielding. Okay. Nobody's attacking me. Nobody has a status effect on them either. Still worth. Receive 50% more damage for every stack and consume all stacks. Oh, boy. Okay, could we please, like... Okay. No dice. The blind is going to be nice, at the very least. That helps. This is going to be kind of expensive. So... There's no point in attacking you, because you have 10 shield. I mean, ow. But we're fine. Hey! I just I can't get it to be any other phase for the life of me. Read descriptions carefully. Some abilities exhaust after... I, I mean, thank you. Yes. Alright. Love that. Got the nine coming in. Bring it on, muchacho. Can we get, uh... Dude, I just can't get them to <laughs> go anywhere that I want. There we are. Loving that. This, there's nothing to really... Basically, like, do I want to spend some resolve to maybe get the free dodge? I guess so. Performs a heavy attack at 10 stacks. There's something about the way that they're spinning and the fact that it's completely rigid. See, like, if I go like this, it doesn't jostle the physics of it. That's, like, almost unsatisfying there. Uh, no point in even doing that one, though. Pop. Pop. The, it just feels like I should be able to j jiggle them around, you know? 10 damage and 2 bleed per bounce. 2 bleed, 2 bleed. This is, yeah. Oh, it costs a lot, but it's still worth it, though, I think. All right, we're going to make this first die... Or, oops, this first die into bounce heaven, no matter what I do. If it's the last thing I do, this face will be our first die, and it'll be a chain reaction that is glorious. Um, there's a chest over here. Stumble upon a peculiar scene. Blind musician in the middle of the woods, surrounded by a flock of birds. He starts playing on his instrument, and you can feel a hypnotic melody clouding your thoughts. I'll hum along. As you try and make sense of the bard's melody and hum along, eh. as you hum along, you feel your senses getting sharper. It ends, and you can think clearly again. Five swift. Does three damage to all monsters on bounce? 15 defense on flip. 
Hold on. Is that... I don't know. Are these, like, relics that only affect this dice or not? It's unclear. I guess we'll, we'll put it on this and maybe we'll find out. It says all die bounces, but... All of... I feel like if it was only that die, it should say all of this die's bounces. Oh, my God. 10 damage coming in. Okay. getting nine resolve per i mean i'm glad he's dead because he get, getting nine resolve per turn is sketch okay okay so that was my test the fact that it didn't hit that that one over there it does indeed have to be the one that it's on i almost Infinite combo. No, please, God, no. Don't. Don't take me there again. Four drowsy per die bounce. Let's go for more bleed. So, yeah, we want all the bounces on this one to count for twice. I think that that's more important. And then we'll just have the last one hopefully hit both. I think that is the play. There's literally one face on that die that we don't want now to for our wombo combo dream. All right. This is expensive. So you are You're the only one hitting me this turn. I am... I'm doing it to myself. So this costs two to block six. And I... Okay, well, and I'm doing it. I mean, yikes. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. All right, let that bounce. Okay, good. More or less the kill. You're apparently not doing anything here, so sure. I feel like we got a nasty build going. We're also, I'm not going to lie, we're, you know, we're playing it really close to terror. Gain a dodge, flip, five damage, apply blind. There we go. Powerful shot. It's very expensive, but I'm doing it. 10 damage and bleed on the same is very nice. It's very expensive, but it's very nice. The, the fact that we get to do the direct damage and to maybe pop a, a damage and get the extra thing to keep their resolve down. Wooden shack appears between trees. Lights on. Someone or something definitely lives there. Before you get a chance to investigate, a figure clad in furs and bones emerges from inside. I have no need for gold. Pay with blood. Offer a glass, pint, or gallon of blood. It's got to be like damage. I'll offer a pint. Eh. Do two damage to all monsters and then flip the die to the right. Cost cost two, though. <laughs> whip, whip, whip. We'll get there eventually. Heal and get fine resolve. Good deal. I'm happy we have that for the fight we're going to have bleed on us, at the very least. Okay. Okay.
All right. You're doing five. Put on the block for sure. Five on you there. You got the three block. You're going to be around the longest I'll put the 12 bleed on you. Cool. Cool. Wait, is it damage down per stack? They just did one damage. All right, that should be good enough. Bye, nerds. Two bleed, two blind. Three bleed per bounce. Two damage to all monsters. Flip the die to the right. Um, you know, we could even, like, pop this on... I was going to say pop it on our final one, but... It's good, but I almost wonder if... Because we're going to bounce a lot, so the cost is going to get really, really high there. But... Bleed only matters so much. I shouldn't have picked this one. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Down the trail we go. Okay. Hefty helping. Do we do the five? Yeah, we do, because then we get to do a damage this turn. Two times... Wait, I just real... I, that just hit me. How annoying that could be. What is this? Reflect half of the damage to the attacker. Ooh, boy. That applies there, too. Okay. Let's dodge this one over here, then. Two damage to all monsters. I'll take half of that if it means we're doing an extra damage there. Then it's worth it. Um. Ow. I'll do it. I'll take a hit. I'll take a hit to get that man out of here. Wait. Oh, he had the bat. Okay, we're good. So he still has reflect. So I kind of don't want to do anything. Unless I do this first. How does that work? I feel like it's going to be bad. Oh, it applies. Ah, oh, God, you son of a gun. The fact that the bleed reflects back. Get the sheep. Okay, that sounds good. Oh, boy. I have the dodge. So I'm just going to, like, go ahead and gently put those down. Oh, wait, what? God, the bleed. Why does bleed reflect? <laughs> Why does bleed reflect here, man? Also, what exhausts here? Nothing. It's just a visual bug. Kind of looks like I, unfortunately, have to just sit here for a while until I regen back up. Okay, there we go. Now we can actually play. And boy, can we. How does that die have a, an exhaust on it? Is it something to do with the infinite?
I think it's something to do with the infinite, which is kind of annoying because I don't think it's actually an infinite. Okay. He's doing eight, which means I either need to kill him now. What does this flip to? Well, I have no choice now, I think. Yeah. Well, but we're not... The thing is, this doesn't take not enough comp... Gotcha. I wasn't sure how that shook out. Understood. Well, there's our first damage, because I, I thought that maybe perhaps we could use an infinite amount of them. We just... The penalty was that we were low on resolve. Gotcha. So it really, it's like a poor get poorer kind of a vibe, for sure. If you start to get down, though, you're going to really have a problem. Gain two shield, two resolve, flip the die to the bottom. Four damage to all enemies, make another attack if bump. I think that we need, apparently we need resolve. At this moment in time. But that might yell at me and say... It might say it's an infinite. <laughs> Even though... It could... It's getting close to being infinite adjacent. Okay. He didn't have a status effect on him yet. Goofball. I think I gotta get the huge bleed on this guy. Yeah, with, with that much resolve regen and the fact that he's going to get even more, we got to have a lot going there. Uh, I'll do another five to everybody. Monkey Blast. Which kills that one. Does a lot of damage, applies even more bleed. Guarantees it a bit further. I think we put this down and then we stop now. Good. 19 damage per turn. Down to 18. A little bit more resolve. Um. Ooh, that's actually not bad. And then we don't even have to use our block. I mean, we just, just live forehead. It uses the dodge before our block. That seems backwards. Bye bye. Five per stealth. Five and apply two blind. Eh. Well, I gotta say, there is a hefty help and okay, good. There's like a boss right here. I was gonna say, I want to. I need a good place to to call it. And a boss sure would do it. Gain one foolish attack when die face is exhausted. Lose one when... Okay. Well, the good news is... If your whole deal is that you just have a lot... Of health. That is not something I care that much about. very expensive what we just did very expensive what we just did <laughs> okay so he's got some kind of a buff thing he's doing now good I prefer that one for us okay just pump a lot of bleed on him and I think we actually just cool it music getting loud now All right. What's your plan? You're still you're still going.
I mean, there's no downside to that then, I guess. That we pop for sure. And this, I'm like... How much is it? It is four. So I could do it and technically, like, keep things moving along already. Deal an additional five damage per stack. I mean, I'm wild. It's not an infinite, though! It's... I, you keep using that word! The fact that it thought that's an infinite actually screws me over in this fight. You know what's really great? We get to do a heart's worth of damage just for every bump here. Boss dead. Beautiful. Silly, silly stuff. Alas, alas, though, that is that. And that is going to do it here for today for Tamarack Trail. Uh, yeah, I think it's a very promising demo. I love this genre, and it's doing some cool stuff within it. Like, playing with the actual physical nature of the dice bumping into each other I think is great. I think adjusting the kind of physics of how they spin, how they're spinning on a fixed axis in a very rigid way, I, I think kind of gives the illusion, and sometimes not the illusion. Like, sometimes you actually can just place a die down and get the exact thing you want, which it's almost like... <sighs> It's weird, because I'm like, that's kind of good, and it's kind of bad at the same time. The fact that it is finicky, and it sort of sometimes works that you can choose what you want to do using it that way means that it should basically you should go a little bit more in that direction, or, or make it so that that's not a thing. Or, like, you know, so you can shake the die in a more wild way, uh, and you throw it, you know, with more, like, with more physics. Like a tabletop sim die, kind of like you actually can shake it fully and kind of it, it jiggles around a bit more so that there's no illusion that you kind of have control um so you don't spend a lot of time trying to get what you want there i would say the infinite detection system needs help because you have something already in the game that prevents infinites it's the energy <laughs> it's the energy and the fact that bumping it's not an infinite because i can't keep on playing it i can't keep on playing it it costs too much energy it's not an infinite um but, hey, you know, whatever. I'm happy to have, quote-unquote, found an infinite on my first time playing. Um, but, yeah, it, it's super cool. I, I really like it. I think that uh, you need status effects to be visible. Like, when you hover over something, it needs to say what the status effect is going to do. You shouldn't have to put a die on the face, bring it into battle, use that die face to figure out what it does. That's obviously not quality of life clean. Uh, the sound effects and music are, are all over the place as far as audio balance goes. That needs to be polished up and tightened up. Like, the heart thump sound effect is a lot louder than any other sound effects. The music comes and goes from being way too quiet to way too loud. But those are all quality of life things. Those are things that are not that big of a deal. Um, and those are something that I think... If th those things get fixed up and, uh, yeah, adding, obviously, just more variety, more stuff like that. I'm curious to see what the other classes are like. I didn't really use this character's ability that much because I didn't really need to. Because I kind of crafted a I crafted a build in which I do did not care about which face I got on my, my like, anchor die, so to speak. Um, but alas, that's that. That's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel, Roguelikes and more every single day. If that is something you are into, if you like that genre, especially if you like dice builders, this is a great channel for you to be subscribed to i cover every single great new dice builder that comes out in the roguelike genre for sure it's just I, I love it fascinated by it think there's a lot of space for it i think it's the next big thing for roguelikes uh and it, yeah i hope you guys stay tuned thank you for watching thank you thank you and i'll see you next time bye